Marley. Sticky. Sticky, wake up. Marley. <laughs> Look at them toesies. Sticky, pretty. Good morning. Mom? Nice what? What you want? Yay! Oh, you're so pretty. Let's get out, Tiggy! Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Huh? Did you sleep good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you ready to get up? Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready to eat some papa? Hey, you hungry? No. You're not hungry? No. No? Are you sure? No. No, you're not sure? No. Okay. No. You want some papita? No. You're not hungry? No. <laughs> You're lying. Yes. Yeah. Do yeah. <laughs> you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? <laughs> okay, so her closet is a mess. Excuse everything. Let's get you some clothes. Let's see. Where this? I knew it. Y'all see how I know my car's brakes? I heard that squeak. What is he doing? What is he doing home? Oh. What are you doing here? Hey. <laughs> Let's get your clothes on. Sit down. Brigitte! <laughs>
You gotta put your sweater. What you doing? Oh, wait, let me see. Let me see you use it. Let me see. Use your sponge. Let me see. You do it. Wow. <laughs> you want this one too? Okay, fine. Mommy, give that one to you. Let me see. Do your makeup. Do your makeup. Wow. No, ma'am. Eso no. So I've never filmed in this spot before, so we'll see how I like it. It is currently December 20th. That means there's only five more days, technically four, until Christmas and my birthday. So I just wanted to kind of address like the whole Vlogmas thing. I obviously have not been posting every single day like I said I would. I had an emergency and that emergency was depression. <laughs> Honestly, it's just been one of those years that like it just doesn't feel like Christmas to me I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's just move on because I'm just in a funk basically. I'm in a funk That's why like I haven't been filming for vlogmas and maybe next year. I'll try it again Anyways, let me go grab something. I have had this shoe for about four years now I only wear this shoe during Christmas this is an Air Max 90. I love Air Max 90 so much. So as y'all can see, it is a Christmas themed shoe. The whole shoe is lined with fur on the inside. It's so comfy. When I found this shoe, it was the very last one. This is a get down from there. Hey. <laughs> so, I mean, it's that time of year to bring them out. So I, I haven't worn them at all this Christmas season, which is kind of sad. So I wanted to pull them out and do a makeup look centered around them. I love this shoe so much. Okay, so I think I'm going to do green eyeshadow. Then I'm going to cut my crease white. And then I think I'm going to do some red liner maybe. I'm not going to film this whole entire thing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one eye off camera, what I would originally do. And then I will come back. And we will finish the undone eye on camera because I really don't know what I want. I don't know what I want to do yet, and I don't want to be all over the place on camera. So I'm gonna do one eye. Also, I need to do my eyebrows and my lip because they're hairy. I'll probably do this eye on camera, and then we'll come back. Jesus, we'll do this eye off camera, and I'll come back and do this one on. Okay, bye. Okay, so I went ahead and I already prepped my eye. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I'm going to have to show you guys again. So this is what I came up with. This is a shoe. I think it's giving. I like it. I'm going to add like probably a snowflake at the end. Okay, so for our eyeshadow, I'm going to be going into my Jaclyn Hill palette. I know, super old, but this is the only dark green shade that I had. So we're going to be using this one. I'm going to be taking a really small brush. This is a Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to start by just packing this shade onto my lid. I'm really not doing any blending. I'm just packing this on. And I'm kind of going in the shape that I want my cut crease to be. It kind of feels so weird to be doing like a live tutorial. Not live, I guess. But, you know, like talking to y'all while I'm doing it. Because usually I like to do voiceovers and then i am going to flick this up i'm not going to round it out i want it like flicked so <coughs> i'm going to point this a little bit once it looks something like this then i'm going to go in with a slightly fluffier brush literally like slightly fluffier oh actually this is the same brush same brush but this is the same brush but they look different I don't know. So I'm taking the exact same brush, just a clean one. And I'm going to be taking this slightly darker green shade right here. Using my James Charles palette, which is kind of an ick for me. Yeah, like, ugh. I don't like using his stuff because, ew, if you know, you know. Anyways, so I'm going to just 
I just start by doing little small circular motions right on the edge of that dark green. If you're used to applying your transition shade first, this is probably going to be different for you. When you're working with color, it's so much easier to go in with the darker shades first and then blend them out with the lighter. The color payoff is so much better. The eyeshadow just comes out so much more like vibrant. Now that I have blended out the edge of that dark green, I'm gonna go in with an even a lighter green, but I'm gonna take this on a nice fluffy brush. So I'm gonna be using, sorry, I'm using three different palettes. What is this? Morphe 3503 palette. I'm taking literally the only green shade from this palette right there. So I'm gonna start by just doing the same thing I did. We're gonna start with circular motions. I'm using a lighter green, so I don't have to be like as precise. I'm just kind of taking this right in the middle where the dark green and that lighter green meet. And then I'm blending it up further. Now if you wanted to, you could stop here and cut your crease. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with, with those same three shades that we use. So starting with the darker green. I'm just going back with that dark green and kind of just blend this like line out even more. I know that y'all could see that right there. Y'all see that? Yeah, we want it more seamless like this. So I just go back in and blend it out a little bit more. I did pick up a little bit more product on my brush, but it's not a lot. A little goes a long way. See how much more seamless that is? And then we'll go back in with the go back in with the darker shade. And then finally one last time with the lighter green. Okay, so that's pretty much for the eyes. I am going to cut my crease. I'll kind of talk y'all through it, but for the most part, I'm going to do this off camera just because my hands are like covering my eyes the whole time. You can't really see what I'm doing. So I like to take some coconut oil on a flat brush, and then I'm going to kind of warm up the oil some more on my hand. And then I'll start to stamp out the shape that I want. Once I have that stamped on there, then with a makeup brush or just a wipey like I'm using, I'm going to plant my finger on my lid and then swipe. So we're wiping that coconut oil off. So plant, swipe. And if you want, you can just plant the finger and swipe down. And then, essentially what we have is a map for our cut crease. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some white concealer and another flat brush. And I'm just going to go, like, fill all of that in. And then I'll be back. Hey. Hi. 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 And then I'm going to take some translucent powder and just pat over that okay if you get it a little bit at the top or outside of the cut crease just take your brush and dust it off now i'm going to do the red outline no now we do eyeliner just kidding so i like to do make sure that's kind of going up even with that one i just like to drag a line up And then I just do another line coming diagonally to meet my lash line. And then from there, I pretty much have the outline of my wing. It's kind of thicker here than I would want it to be, but I'll just go and clean that 
up after. Now we're gonna add the red. And I'm going into my Mayron makeup palette. Hold on. Marley's bringing me her juice cup for more juice, so. Pick it up and give it to me. You just threw it at me. We're back. I would prefer to use red eyeliner, but I don't have any, so. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and finish up the rest off of camera and I'll come back and show y'all the final look. So I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. This is the look that I came up with. I wasn't really liking it at first, but now I'm liking it. Here's the shoe. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it's so cute. I do wish I put a little bit more red or that you could see the red a little bit more. But nonetheless, I'm happy with it. I love it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that quick little winter makeup tutorial or Christmas makeup tutorial, whatever you want to call it. This video will be posted on Thursday. I'm going to give you guys another video tomorrow. So you'll have two back to back and then I'll post on Sunday. And then from there, I'll just continue my regular schedule. So it'll be Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays that I'll post. That schedule seemed to really work for me. This posting every day vlogmas thing. Maybe I'll try it again next year, but... It was just a no for me, basically, okay? <laughs> That's going to bring us to the end of this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little Christmas look. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, 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 for my birthday this year, I would really appreciate it if you guys help me get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm more than halfway there, so please, 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 if you aren't already, subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.